Hello everybody, welcome to a new segment called Scraping the Bottom. On this show we're going to check out some games that might be considered trash at face value and see if there's any redeeming qualities about it. Today we're taking a look at Goosebumps and What's Different Challenge. What's Different Challenge is part of the Family DVD Games Game Pack series that was given out in Wendy's Kids Meals in 2006. It revolves around the original Goosebumps series of 62 books that ran from 1992 to 1997. It was developed by Artex Studios and released by Scholastic during the Goosebumps reprint in the early 2000s. Four games make up Game Pack Series 1, including Maya and Miguel, Ice High, Goosebumps, and Clifford the Big Red Dog. The games are played on a DVD player with a standard remote using the Arrow and Energy. On the main menu, we have multiple choices, including credits, legal notices, the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption, Coming Soon, which plays a trailer for the 2006 Charlotte's Web movie. And before we get to the main game, I just want to show off the Wendy's Kids Meal Choices option. We'll scroll through some of the different burgers, side items, and drinks that you can choose from when you get your own Wendy's Kids Meal. Some of you probably put a lot of time and effort into this, and unless it was also simultaneously posted on their website, then I can't imagine many people ever saw it. The Wendy's Kids Meal Choices section on their website currently is really boring by comparison. Now, I'll let the game explain how it's played. Two scary pictures will be displayed. They look almost the same, but look more closely, and you will find some alarming differences. We are even nice enough to tell you how many there are. Using the remote arrow keys, move the highlight box to any part of the image, and hit enter to make the selection. If you are right, you will see a ghostly glow. If you are right, well, you <laughs> You get one point for each one found, and only one chance for each as well. Good luck, he'll need it. What's Different Challenge gives you six attempts to find six differences between the two pictures. Being right, wrong, or not making a choice in ten seconds will all cost the player an attempt. So essentially, to ever fully solve a picture, you can't make any mistakes. There are four modes of play, including single player, which has one person playing through three random puzzles, two player, which has two people playing through three random puzzles and taking turns finding the differences on the same one, Multiplayer, which supports up to four players, has everyone solving their three random puzzles independently and alternates players only after each is either solved or failed. And finally, Practice, which gives a single player infinite attempts at finding the differences in any puzzle of their choosing. There are 15 different puzzles to solve overall, including Welcome to Dead House, The Beast from the East, Night of the Living Dummy 3, Ghost Camp, I got my shrunken head. How to kill a monster. The blob that ate everyone. One day at Borderland. Who can stop the game? Revenge of the Long Lands. Let's get the visit. The haunted school. The girl who cried monster. Can stay out of the basement. The narration and music both add a lot to the game and keep it moving along. The narrator has enough lines to not get overly repetitive and annoying. Too bad. That's great. One last try. So the question is whether Goosebumps or What's Different Challenge is a good game or trash. Well, considering that this is essentially a promotional item, I have to say that it's well made. At its core, it's really just a digital version of the back of a highlights magazine. However, the licensed music and narration give enough charm and substance to walk on its own. Allowing up to four players is a nice addition, and not needing to buy any specific console to play it on makes it more accessible for everybody. Compare this to any video game adaption of Where's Waldo, and the difference in quality is night and day. What's Different Challenge can be enjoyed by adults and kids alike. Don't immediately write it off as being raised for level because it will become quite difficult to constantly find differences every 10 seconds on multiple random puzzles without flat out memorizing. The rolling times might begin to get on your nerves the more you play, but they're not unforgivably bad and it's to be expected when playing a game in this type of format. The game can be completed in around 5 minutes for single player and around 15 for 4 player. Have this set in a nostalgia based Halloween party and I'm sure that it'll get some attention. And if not, you can always just turn in a new drink. Better luck next time! <laughs>